Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with Integral here, sharing another tech tip that will help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're going to talk about the six mistakes most people make when buying technology. People go out and get technology expecting to just rush out and get anything, expecting it to last uh, up to 20 years. It's simply not the case. There's all sorts of technology out there on the market. You just have to know how to make the right decisions to get technology that's going to last for you. We're going to switch screens here like we always do. Uh, take a look at some of the mistakes that you're making with your technology purchases and point you in the right direction so that you'll get technology that will last for you. We'll switch screens like we always do. And first tip is always buying whatever's cheapest. That's a common mistake most people make when it comes to computers, smartphones, and tablets. Many people will make that mad dash to Walmart to get that $100 or $200 computer or tablet. But that device is not going to last very long. Um, to kind of give you a point range as far as what you expect should expect to pay for technology, most of your tablets that are going to be good are going to start around five to six hundred dollars. If you're buying a smartphone, expect to pay anywhere to eight hundred to a thousand dollars for a smartphone that's going to last. And for computers, it kind of varies. For a Windows computer, you need to expect to spend at least six to seven hundred dollars to get a decent computer. Macintosh users, unfortunately, you need to expect to expend anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000 for a decent Mac book or iMac computer, sometimes more. Apple computers are pretty pricey, so it's always tempting to buy something that's cheap, but at the same time, you're only going to hurt yourself if you buy something cheap and you're really going to help yourself if you really take the time and put some money in your technology. Remember, it's an investment. Uh, it's not something that you purchase and get something for free. It's not a toaster. Uh, it's a very complicated piece of technology. Next on our list is not shopping around enough. Uh, you can get inexpensive computers if you know where to go. Um, most people stick to um, brick and mortar stores and that's not the only place that you can buy a decent piece of technology uh, there's places online like Newegg and even Amazon that sell new and sometimes refurbished technology that will suit your needs um, if you have a comment on what types of tech that you should get leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll answer your questions uh, that varies from the device to device and sometimes it just is too long to take up a video to list out the specifications that you need. I can tell you this real briefly, that for desktop computers, you probably should focus on getting an i7 Intel processor with at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, most Apple computers come with this configuration. Windows computers do not, but if you want a nice Windows computer that is going to last, Aim for 16 gigabytes of RAM and aim for an i7. As far as smartphone and tablets, I always recommend either getting Apple or Samsung devices. Those are the two top manufacturers out there, uh, and you want to stick with that. Um, as far as pricing for computers, we're going to take a step back. Um, if you're looking for a computer for a kid or one of your older parents or grandparents, you really don't have to spend that money on a device because obviously a kid is going to tear up a piece of technology. So you don't want to put a lot in a piece of technology for a child like going out and rushing and get an iPad. Or for children, Amazon Fire tablets are great. If, especially um, if you're looking for an older adult, Amazon Fire tablets are just as good. Uh, so those are the only two exceptions where you can get a piece of technology. Now keep in mind with it being inexpensive, if it breaks, you just need to replace it. Don't try to go out and get it fixed. Now let's move on to our next tip, which is not trying before you buy. There's a reason there are stores like Micro Center, or Best Buy, and 
some of the other electronic stores, like even Office Max and Office Depot. Obviously, they want you to go out and purchase technology for them, but you can use it to your advantage to go to those stores and try out the technology in the store. Uh, trying for buying allows you to find out if you that new piece of technology is going to work for you. If you're switching from a standard laptop to a two-in-one, great opportunity to go to a store and make sure that a two-in-one is for you. If you're making that switch from Windows to Macintosh or vice versa, it's always a good idea to try it out to make sure that making that switch is going to work for you. Same thing if you're switching brands of tablets. Um, make sure that you try it out before you buy it. We at Integral have always encountered people with buyer's remorse where they purchase something and it just doesn't work out. So they have a very expensive piece of equipment sitting around that they can't use. Our next tip is assuming a feature is even included. Man, that happens quite a bit. One of the biggest culprits is ant or antivirus is one, assuming that because it came as a trial on the computer, that it's all in already installed. And the biggest is Microsoft Office. A lot of people assume that Microsoft Office automatically comes installed on any computer or device that you purchase. And that's simply not the case. It used to be 20 years ago, but not anymore. Microsoft Office is not included. You something you get a trial of, but you do have to purchase it. Now, if you have an older copy of Microsoft Office and you're getting a computer, you can definitely install your older copy of Microsoft Office on your computer. Trust me, uh, versions as old as Office 97 will install on your new Windows 10 computer. Same thing with your Macintosh computer. If you've got Office 2008 or newer, it'll work just fine. But don't assume just because you bought that computer that Microsoft Office or any other program is automatically included. Our next step is thinking that components on your computer can be upgraded. That's not always the case. Um, the challenge is, is that with those components, many manufacturers now are starting to go with all-in-one components, which means that the component can't be installed. The most computer that I can think of or device is your tablets and phones. Memory can't be upgraded. Now, on Android tablets, you can add in an SD card, but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's a true upgrade. SD card only allows you to store extra pictures on that SD card. Apple iOS devices, once you get that device, you can't upgrade it anymore. Same thing with some of your other tablets and some of the newer laptops that are coming out on the market and even desktops. So check with a technology expert like me <laughs> or you can call the manufacturer and find out if your device can actually be upgraded. And our last step is letting the security trial expire. Man, you would not believe how many computers that we see go unprotected because the user assumed that the trial version of the antivirus software on the computer or tablet was there for life. Most of those antivirus or security systems are only good for 15 days. That's not a long time considering how long you want to keep your device. So don't assume that just because you see antivirus on your computer that it's there for life. It has an expiration date, usually anywhere from 15 to 20 days or even 30 days. So um, don't let it expire. Sign up for it if you want to use it or you can use uh, the built-in antivirus software, say, in your Windows computer. Um, so those are some six steps that you need to keep in mind when purchasing new technology. Um, if you follow these steps, I guarantee that you will get technology that you love and that you will enjoy for a long, long time. So folks, as always, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. We'd we'll love to hear from you to see if you've got questions about this tech tip or you have suggestions for other tech tips that I should do in future videos. And speaking of videos, I will never quit asking you to subscribe to our YouTube channels at Integral 
and mine at Burton Kelso. Tons of videos there that are designed to help you get more from the technology you use in your day-to-day -day life. And that also goes for our social media channel. So check us out on all the social media platforms out there. Um, we're always sharing tips and cybersecurity alerts that will help make technology more robust in your life. Folks, as always, take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.